Is celebrating birthdays haram? Allahu Akbar. My brothers and my sisters, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of the follow up lectures. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please comment below and we will answer them in future videos. There is no mention in the Quran or hadith that clearly states that celebration of birthdays is haram, whether it is your birthday or any other person's birthday. There is a hadith that is quoted in regards to celebration of birthdays as follows The best of speech is the book of Allah and the best of guidance is the guidance of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam the worst of the evil things are those which have been newly invented in religion and every innovation is going astray now this hadith is speaking about introducing new things in the religion referred to as innovation if someone is introducing celebration as part of the practices of islam then certainly it is an innovation but if the celebration is thankfulness to Allah for giving you existence, you are not adding something new to the religious practice. You choose this way to give thanks to Allah. Giving thanks to Allah should be done throughout our lives and for everything He's given us. In Islam, there is no illegal impediment which hinders you from celebrating birthdays if it reminds you of the blessings of existence and creation. Another hadith which is quoted is that when the Prophet Sallallahu was coming to Medina and realized that people had two days in which there were entertainment and revelry, he asked, what are those days? And people said, we used to play and have fun in these two days in the pre-Islamic period. The Prophet said to them, God has replaced those days with better ones, the day of Adha and the day of Fitr. So the only two feasts that we celebrate as Muslims worldwide are Adha and Fitr. That does prohibit any other days to be celebrated by an individual, such as birthdays, wedding anniversaries, etc. So long as it is not done as a requirement of Islam, and any activity which is prohibited should not be included in celebrations. Some Muslims also want to know if they can commemorate the Prophet's birthday. If the day is used to teach about the life of the Prophet and his message to humanity, then this is something commendable, so long as it is not done as a requirement of the religion of Islam. Some have also asked if they can participate in Valentine's Day. These kind of celebrations are in reality social occasions and traditions. Therefore, there is no objection to participating in them, provided nothing prohibited is involved in the celebration. Expression of love between spouses is something which should be encouraged among Muslims, not only on Valentine's Day, but all other days. This will allow love to grow between husband and wife and bring calm and peacefulness in the home. And God Almighty knows best. I pray Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide each one of us and our families to practice this religion of Islam in the best and happiest way. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of the follow-up lectures. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please comment below. And we will answer them in future videos.